All right, everyone. Ridley is here and she is gonna help me show you my tarot and oracle deck library right over here. Pay no attention to the junk down here, but it's not junk, it's all my treasures. But up here, we have all the decks that I own so far. Um, some are coming in the mail as I speak and others are on back order, or what do you call it, pre-order. And here's what I've got in my stash. I think this is about 15, maybe 16 decks so far. First up, Friends Tarot with a box that I made. Golden Girls Tarot. Herb Crafters Tarot. Jane Austen Tarot, the first deck that I completely connected with. Kawaii Tarot, the cutest freaking deck I've ever seen and a beautiful box that I made for it because the one that it came with was way too big. Labyrinth Tarot. Magical Unicorns Oracle Cards, the first official deck I ever bought for myself. Movie Tarot, one of the weirder decks that I own, but I still really like it and respect its <laughs> cards. It's pretty heavy. <laughs> Literary Witches Oracle, amazing deck, amazing insight, really unique, I don't know, layout, I suppose you say. The most expensive deck I've ever purchased, Lord of the Rings, oops, Lord of the Rings Tarot in Chinese. Worth it, $60 on eBay. Very heavy deck, evidently. <laughs> uh, a Nature Unknown's The Outdoors Oracle. Still not quite connecting to this deck, so I don't know if it's meant for me. So keep that in mind if you're considering a dork witchery mystery box. <gasps> Tim Burton's Nightmare Before Christmas deck. Tarot. Received this in the mail recently and just unboxed it today. Seasons of the Witch, Beltane Oracle. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I'll be interviewing that deck soon. Seasons of the Witch, Yule Oracle. My first impulse buy based on the cover of the box alone. No regrets at all. Wisdom of Avalon Oracle Cards. Beautiful deck, powerful messages, a lot of amazing uh, connections to Arthurian legend. So good. Wise Dog Tarot. Still getting to know it. It's really sweet. And it is available privately uh, via a link included in this newsletter. Not available to the public yet, just you guys. Wise Dog Tarot, so freaking sweet because the dogs on each card are based on real life dogs and I love it. And last, but definitely not least, supported by Moe's from the office, or held down by Moe's from the office, is Stacey Graham's Zombie Tarot. I love this deck with my whole heart. Haven't touched it in a while and that's okay because I use it a lot <laughs> over the summer. And that's it. And uh, if anybody's wondering, I didn't, I wanted like a little shelf to put, oh geez, Moe's. I wanted a shelf to put all my decks on, but I didn't have one. So I got a bunch of games that I've got and books and put them together to make my own little shelf. And all the books are kind of one way or another related to the decks that I own. So scary decks, Pride and Prejudice deck, uh, no office tarot yet. Stranger Things. There's a Stranger Things deck coming out soon. This book was a gift from an amazing person. It's a journal and it's half full already. So I gotta remember to get it out. Sweet Valley Twins because why not? Goosebumps, Sam Mag's Fangirl's Guide to the Galaxy, M. Night Shyamalan's I Got Schooled, Tina Fey, and then this other thing. That's my deck library. Oh, got some Care Bear stuff and other awesome books over there and the Sabrina, Chilling Adventures of Sabrina uh, graphic novel book. That's it. More to come. Have a great day, dorks.